Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Now imagine you're going to have head mount displays in the VR village downstairs. Now the rover, the, even the sound in the rover was recreated, or excuse me, recorded by driving the rovers and John's just facing. Okay, so that, this will just give you, this will just give you, this will just give you a sense of the experience you're about to have. Now before, before we go any further, before we go any further, um, you know, the question really, the question that really is, if you, if we were to send somebody to Mars, and we wanted to send an astronaut to Mars, who would we send? And who, who deserves the first ticket to Mars? And who would be more excited to be the first inhabitant of Mars? Well, you know, when we think about it, I mean, there's only one child, adult childlike explorer who loves to do something nobody has ever done, wants to be first at everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Wozniak. Steve, how are you? I'm so excited. It's so, great you know, to be here. <laughs> you know, first, first of all, first of all, uh, you know, we recreated this, we recreated Mars. And engineers and scientists and artists have worked meticulously and painstakingly to recreate every detail. And now, after billions of dollars of R&D, billions of dollars of R&D, we have now put ourselves in a position where we're ready to send one lucky astronaut. One lucky astronaut. And I heard an interview recently where you said that you, you would place a, a, you would buy a ticket right off the bat for a one-way trip. <laughs> Absolutely. I've signed up for a few. 